you know, what I would tell myself is don't too, don't put too much onus on someone who's designated as some kind of a formal mentor. I think your mentor network is huge. And I think maybe that was the key difference between me coming into a, a PhD program without really having that kind of a background or insider information and people who were is that they they sort of had that they recognized a really broad network of people that they could run ideas by or you know kind of informally ask i'm interested in doing this how how do i get from point a to point b you know your network is a lot bigger than you might think it's all of your peers it's all of the professors that you're in contact with all of your prospective supervisors and also the the people that you were engaged with in your undergraduate degree so really don't hesitate to and try and convey, you know, I have this goal and what would your advice be if I'm, I'm trying to reach this goal? What are the steps that I should take? Or especially if you're trying to navigate a situation and you're, you're kind of not sure who to ask or how to tackle it, ask a few people. I think, um, you know, usually most people are assigned some kind of a formal mentor figure, but it's, it's really much more of a broad community than that. So open yourself up to um, feeling the freedom to, to ask multiple people for a different perspective.